Since I've recently picked up a few new jumbo size figures, I thought I would make a video of the largest figures in my entire collection. So if you saw my last video, there's a little bit of a spoiler there because you already know I recently picked up the new uh, Jumbo Freddy Chan, uh, which is a 14 inch collectible from Funko. I thought it would be fun to get all of my oversized figures. Some are Funko Pops, some are not Funko Pops and compare them side by side. First up, I've got the six inch Funko Pop. Now, depending on the character, these can actually vary in size. For example, these would all be considered six inch pops and it looks like Ted is the shortest out of the bunch, but I've also got a six inch Dorbs. Now these appear to also be kind of shorter. I guess it's like, I guess these are all within the same size, but we've got the Funko Pop and then this is Dorbs. This is by Vinyl Sugar. Vinyl Sugar came out with these Dorbs. Uh, I don't remember what year. I think this one came out in 2015 but if you don't know in 2015 Funko actually bought vinyl sugar so then they started making Funko Dorbs and then they discontinued them. These were actually called Dorbs XL I just remembered that but moving on from the Dorbs then we have the 10 inch Funko Pop I've got this thing right here and this one's actually a bobblehead and these can vary in size also the first 10 inch Funko Pop that ca they came out with is actually a life-size group from 2000 I want to say 2016 from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 there uh, is a little bit of uh, confusion for some people about whether it's considered a 9 inch or a 10 inch if you don't know previously to the 10 inch line I don't have any 9 inch Funko Pops but before that Funko used to make a nine inch Funko Pop line. Um, I know they made a Buzz Lightyear, they made a Daryl Dixon, and they discontinued those, and then they came out with the life-size Groot. Now, even though this Groot is one of the only 10 inch Pops to have a unique box size, it actually, uh, the box is actually a lot smaller, it is marketed and classified by Funko as a 10 inch Funko Pop. But anyways, here is uh, a 10 inch thing and then I'm gonna move these down the line. The next one in my collection is Funko Gold. Funko Gold is a line of collectibles that uh, was released in 2021, I believe, and they are also all um, modeled after musicians and athletes. Uh, like, I know they did like Guns N' Roses, they did Outkast, obviously Biggie, they did Biggie and Tupac, and they did a ton of athletes. I have an athlete right here. This is actually from my dad's collection, but this is Tom Brady. And what's unique about the athletes is they do have uh, some articulation. These ones actually move in the shoulder, the waist, and then here in the neck. This is a 12 inch figure. Funko Gold also comes in a five inch figure. I think they're about this big. I don't know if they have any articulation. I've never actually bought one, but I do have these two Funko Golds here. And now I'm really going to start running out of room because the next one, you saw this yesterday, is the Jumbo Freddy Chan. This is a 14 inch figure. And uh, yeah, the math adds up. Uh, Freddy himself looks like he's not much taller than the Funko Gold, but now that I'm looking at it, it looks like he gets a lot of height from his crown here. So, so far we've got Funko, Vinyl Sugar, Funko, 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 Funko. This next one is by Super 7, and this is their mascot, Mummy Boy. So Mummy Boy is actually a 16 inch vinyl collectible. Uh, it looks like it was designed right here. Whoa. His foot is stamped kind of like Andy from Toy Story, but it says uh, Brian Flynn, who I believe is the designer. I think he's also the, uh, the founder of Super 7. This one is posable, so we've got some rotation in his arm here. Whoa. We've got some rotation in his little bone nub here, and then his head rotates as well. 16-inch uh, collectible. Here it is next to uh, Freddy Funko, and he's clearly a lot taller. Now, I don't even know if I'm gonna have room for this next one, but these are the 18-inch Funko Pops. Here is the 18-inch Iron Man. Wow, look at that lineup. The 18-inch Funko Pops, I. I want to say came out in 2020. I may be wrong. I'm not fact checking anything today. I'm just showing you my collection. That's kind of how I roll, I guess. I don't know. Uh, 
But let me grab some of my other 18 inch Funko Pops. Let me get these guys out of the way. Here, I've obviously got Iron Man. I've got the black suit Batman, the blue suit Batman. Now this one is actually limited to only 700 pieces. Uh, this is the 1966, 1966 suit. And finally, I have Baby Groot in the 18 inch. And I don't know if you can tell, let me see. But this one is actually flocked. Uh, he's he's fuzzy all the way around and on his little leaves here. You can't even see me. I am no longer even in this video. Okay. And I'm pretty sure these are the largest retail Funko Pop. I, I know they make like the uh, 36 inch or 48 inch Funko Pops that they have on display at certain stores in the mall. Um, I think Chalice Collectibles has some big anime figures in there. They obviously have the jumbo size ones at Funko Hollywood and at the Funko HQ in Washington. But when we're talking retail, like something you can actually purchase, uh, that's going to be the 18 inch Funko Pop, probably the biggest one you can buy. Now, fun fact, you probably didn't know this but a children's size four croc fits perfectly on an 18 inch Funko Pop. And that's usually how this Batman is hanging out. Um, but I, first I have to, I feel like I have to clarify something because I've gotten comments on my videos before of people who think I went out and bought Crocs for a Funko Pop. These are not cheap. These Crocs are like $30, $35. Uh, these were actually my daughter's when she was two years old and they haven't fit her in a long time. So uh, <laughs> uh, they fit my Funko Pops though, and I think they look really funny. I don't know, it gives them, gives them a little bit, of, uh, little bit of style. Anyway, those are the largest collectible figures in my collection. I have some more 10 inch, I have some more six inch, this is what is going on with Tom Brady's arms here. Uh, I, <laughs> I have some other collectibles that that would fit in the same size, but when it comes from uh, when it comes to like the biggest ones, this is it right here. These and the 18-inch Funko Pops. Uh, I think that's it. I thought this would be a fun video. If you enjoyed it, let me know which one is your favorite. And uh, you can find me, Sidekick Inc., all across social media on Instagram, TikTok, Threads, or here on YouTube. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications. I feel like this is a long list of stuff to go over. Uh, what's next? Uh, have a great week. Collect what you love, love what you collect, and I'll see you next time.